Hello guys, welcome to my version of Unity Dart 12.4. I uh, just want to show you what this OS is capable of doing. Um, as you can see, it looks completely different from what Unity looks like. Um, just show you guys a couple things. Um, as you can see, the Compass is working fantastic on this. Um, very all preloaded with everything, so as you can see, very cool. A lot of cool things on this distro. Um, added a lot of lenses, a lot of apps and everything on this uh, OS is all preloaded for you. Uh, we'll just go through it really quickly. Accessories, show you what's in accessories. Wallage, Sunflower, My Agenda, Cutterfish, uh, your manager, dev, uh, dev uh, installer, and everything like that. Just show you what Wallage can do. This is a fantastic little wall uh, wallpaper changer. Changes wallpapers for you, as you can see. I preloaded lots of cool wallpapers onto this OS. stick with the robot human robot that's pretty cool um, show you a couple things on this you go to preferences you can enable it at startup change the wallpapers do all that cool stuff reset the preferences uh, change wallpapers in random time do all that stuff a lot of customizing on that which is fantastic um, let's go to internet Chrome web browser clip grab uh, Firefox mumble you guys need to use Mumble, get in the Linux Lounge Community Center, get involved if you love Linux as much as I do. Fantastic thing. Um, this is where I get on. It's all preloaded for you. The only thing you need to do is change uh, your server name, your username, and basically put your whatever you like to be called. Uh, and basically Unity Dark User or something like that would work and uh, basically they'll say hi to you and help you out with any technical questions so very very cool um, you could find find me there in Australian Eastern Time um, let's see what else we have here um, your BitTorrent thing um, your download and share files or BitTorrent uh, that works fantastic uh, Calibri your this is uh, your e uh, your ebook uh, library manager GW Office LibreOffice the whole the whole lot there for you. Uh, let's go to sound and video for you. Um, out of a couple things, uh, Easy Tag Format Junkie, which is a very very cool little app here that converts files to whatever you like your images. Uh, you could do a lot of things with this. Convert them to another format, uh, a ping file. Uh, just does a lot of things. Fantastic little app, easy to uh, uh, use. So make sure you give that a go. That's getting pretty popular. That little app, um, Handbrake, uh, back up your DVDs, Blu-rays. If you have a Blu-ray player, uh, that works great. Uh, K3B. This is like your Neo. Fantastic uh, little app, which I use all the time. Uh, open shot video editors, what I edit the videos with. SM Player, Sound re uh, Sound Recorder, UM Player, VLC. So there you go. Um, system tools. I've added a couple little things here. So Ubuntu, which you guys need to use. Uh, Super Boot. Um, I'll show you guys what to do. Uh, Blitch Beach. Uh, G Part it here. Uh, uh, remaster sys this is basically I'll do backups of uh, your whole entire system um, maybe I'll do a, a review how to use that for you guys sometime in the near future uh, preferences uh, event settings you go your uh, cinnamon settings this uh, OS also has uh, cinnamon installed so you can log in and log into cinnamon and it's just tweaked out a little bit not as much as a unity but it's there and you guys could change it i do like the cinnamon desktop environment so your comp has uh config um, you go there please know what you're doing because you could easily mess up the OS by uh, mucking around compass maybe look at a couple YouTube videos how to modify and adjust your compass settings so if you got if you need to uh, Linux and you get into all the compass effects be very careful with that because if you don't know what you're doing easy easy to screw up some things so um, 
let's go to the super boot here I have this guy up here basically this is your Berg manager that, that'll do that your grub manager changes uh, the pictures in the uh, the beginning your Plymouth screen manager this is your Plymouth splash screen manager which I use all the time which I've loaded up on this you can't change your little splash screen to whatever you like you need to double click on it and apply the changes set default theme you press this it give you I'll show you guys exactly what it gives you what you have loaded up there you choose the number you press uh, the number you want to what you'd like to choose and from that you do you, pr you press enter and apply the changes very simple um, or you could create your own thing which is pretty cool now load it up automatically for you and you'll see it in that um, you'll see it in the set a default theme which is fantastic so if you guys want to change your plash, uh, splash screen uh, make your own one like I did on this distro uh, this this is what I use so just but be very worried and be very careful and read through what you need to if you need any help send me a post and I'll try to help you guys out so there's that stuff alright let's uh, let me show you how to tweak the system out a bit so let's go to event settings show you a couple tweaks what is possible with this OS so let's show you a couple things obviously um, here is where you add your uh, file manager turn it off on etc um, computer visible if you want to take that out there you go that's how easy it is to take that off uh, you want to add a trash icon there you go you could add that on very simple tweak with this this works fantastic I'm preferring this more than my Ubuntu tweak now well uh, once you get the hang of it you prefer it and it uh, works great this little app let me just show you what I have done for you guys this is what's under the hood which is not visible but I'll show you guys how to tweak this if you guys have any questions what to do with it give me a hoy or send me an email or a post and I will help you guys out um, here we go icons that's how easy it is to change all your icons very very cool uh, let's go to uh, this one right here just loaded tons of icons there look at that See how it changes everything. You would, ha I don't think you would find any other distro with as many icons as I put on my distros. I just like to have my uh, distros as customizable as possible. Let the user choose what he likes and give you choice. That's my theory on my distros. As you can see, it's all very cool. How it changes everything change the look of everything we'll leave those these are pretty cool these look pretty nice all preloaded 100% preloaded for you guys um, let's go to GTK theme I left it at the Mac theme because it makes it very clear see this it just changes everything let's just uh, choose this right here there you go sometimes it would do funny things and sometimes you have to log in and log out to uh, get the effects that you want properly there you are very cool let's just change a couple there you are show you how to tweak let's uh, give uh, the Mac theme get the, the Mac look going that's how easy it is to tweak the system um, I've just made it very easy for you guys I've spent like I said over three days on this OS loading all these themes icons and everything for you guys hope you guys do appreciate it setting the compass for you guys setting everything for you guys as you can see all these cool compass effects all working very cool um, I'm not no errors or anything like that so hope you guys appreciate my distros and uh, send me a post uh, send me a comment I'll post it up on my website thanks guys